Who does this man think he is? How in the world he could talk like this? Only God can forgive men of their sins. And Jesus, knowing what they said, he responded to them, which is easier for me to say? To, to say, is it easier for me to say, take up your bed, or to say to him, your sins are forgiven? He says, I talk like this because I want you to know, amen, that I've got power, I've got authority, I got it on lock right here on earth. Is there anybody in here that know my God got a big ego, but he could back it up? Can I tell you something? God's got all power. Is there anybody in here that could testify? He's an all-powerful God. Mark 2 verse 10 says, This is so that you may know I got all power. That if I'm able to forgive your sins, then making you walk is a small thing. The last thing about this particular verse is that he don't want no one to make the mistake and think it was because of them. Amen. That you are what you are today. If I was sitting in my seat right now and the preacher say that I would have run around the building just now. You know why? Because there's some people in your life that think you are what they what you are because they help you out sometime in your life. Amen. There's some people, amen, that think you are what they are you are because they was able to help you pay a bill when you things was tight. Amen. And so guess what? Some people know how to throw loneliness your way. Amen. They know how to come against you. Amen. When they see you making progress. Why? Because they feel like you can't make it without them. Amen. And some of you may feel like you can't make it without somebody in here today. But can I tell you something? Guess what? If you leave them alone, guess what? God will help you to see some strength you never had before is there anybody in here that says it wasn't until they left me it wasn't until some things walked out of my life that I realized that I had strength that wasn't even there before Isaiah realized that he is in Isaiah 49 verse 23 he says those who hope in him will not be dis dis disappointed and I need somebody in here that know that God don't disappoint amen you see because there may be some folks in church today they don't believe this word right now amen because they've been going through so much hell in their life but I believe that there's some testimonies in here amen that say guess what all he did was speak some things and I held on to what he spoke and I'm here today and if I hadn't held on to the word I wouldn't have been here so if there's anybody in here that know he's a way maker I just need you to stand up and say he could back it up if there's anybody in here amen that know he's a deliverer I need you to holler as you're standing he could back it up if there's anybody in here that know he's a healer I need you to holler he could back it up Ah, I don't think you believe it. Look at someone before you're seated. Shake their hands. Say, neighbor, you're touching a testimony that say all he got to do is speak it and he could back it up. My God got a big ego, but he could back it up.